Time is 5.01, a rude awakening for a Huber Heights firefighter when a car slams into his living room. Brooke Moore is live at the scene with a look at the damage for us in this morning's top story. Brooke? Holly, right now we're here in the 5,000 block of Taylorsville Road, and you'll see behind me where they're boarding up that front window. The family can stay there, though, even though there's some damage. And right now, Huber Heights police are just trying to figure out what caused this 20 year old driver to crash into the front of that home overnight. The homeowner woke up to find the front end of, end of the car resting inside his house sometime after 2 15 this morning. We were there as the car was pulled from the wreckage. It looks messy, but firefighters took a look and they decided it was okay to. Remove the car. The house is actually for sale, and the homeowner is a firefighter and paramedic, so he says he jumped into action to make sure the driver was okay, and that driver was put into the back of a police cruiser as they worked to find out what happened. But Sergeant Chris Cash tells us that process could take a while. He's given us a couple different stories. First, he said that uh, he was reaching for a cigarette and missed the stop sign here coming off of Mount Hood, crossed Taylorsville, and hit the house. Uh, then he wanted to tell us that his brakes failed on him, so we're going to tow the vehicle and, uh, and do testing on it just to, to see if that's a true statement or not. Obviously, if the brakes went out, that's going to be a little bit different than if that driver simply wasn't paying attention or lost control. But Sergeant Cash tells us that if, in fact, they find out that those brakes were working, that driver could be facing some charges for filing a false statement. And then coming up in the next half hour, we are going to hear from that homeowner. Reporting live in Huber Heights, I'm Brooke Moore. Two News Today, working for you.